If you know DaVinci Resolve, you're probably familiar with a great little tool called Midtone Detail. And if you have ever wondered how to achieve something similar in Final Cut, you came to the right video. The Midtone Detail plugin is the easiest way to achieve a natural sharpening or softening effect for your footage. But before we go there, we should have a look at what Midtone Detail actually is. Okay, the name kind of gives it away. The slider affects first and foremost the midtones. You could think about this as a graph with your effect strengths on the y-axis, 100 over here, and your luma on the x-axis, with black on the left-hand side and white on the right-hand side. Middle gray needs to be somewhere around here, so we know that the midtone detail effect must affect the midtones at full intensity. So I can make a point over there. I know that the midtone detail effect doesn't affect the blacks and doesn't affect the whites. So I make two points at effect strength zero. If I connect these points like this and here, I will get a triangle. But a triangular shape would result in very harsh highlight and shadow roll off. So the actual graph looks something more like this with a nice roll off towards the whites and a nice roll of towards the blacks. So what does this graph mean? It doesn't affect the blacks, it gradually affects more of the midtones, it affects the midtones fully and gradually affects the highlights, but doesn't affect the whites. This is essentially what this graph means. But why did I bother you with mathematics once again? Because this is the conceptual knowledge you need to achieve the midtone detail effect in Final Cut if you want to do it manually. In Final Cut, grab the sharpening effect, sharpen over there, and then you want to add a color mask. We don't need to deal with hue and saturation, we only need to deal with illuminance. We want to achieve this graph, so we know that we must alter this graph over here. We want to affect the midtones, so I will drag the sliders away from black and white, but we also know that we want to introduce a roll of. So this is our graph translated to Final Cut. If we want to see what's going on with our mask, we can click View Masks and then we can see our selection. In my case, I'm fine with the selection. Now I can turn up the sharpness and only the midtones are being sharpened. Again, if you want to refine your mask, click on View Mask and keep in mind white reveals black conceals. If you want to reduce the sharpness on the other hand, you would need to grab the Gaussian blur and repeat the same steps for the color mask. Now let's have a look at my midtone detail plugin. I will delete both of these effects and add my midtone mid detail plugin. There it is. If I drag the slider to the left, I decrease the details in the midtones and if I drag the slider to the right, I increase the details in the midtones. But this looks rather different than sharpening, doesn't it? So let's have a look at this zoomed in side by side. I have prepared a clip over here. I will increase the sharpening value until we get some nice details. Okay, something like this. Then I will increase the midtone details until we reach the same level of clarity. Maybe something like this. You can see the sharpening method looks wildly different than my midtone detail plugin. Why is that? This is because my plugin utilizes a custom sharpening approach, which is not built into Final Cut Pro. You can see my sharpening approach is much more natural, whereas Final Cut's approach crushes the lower midtones and increases the overall saturation.